Welcome to World Music Cafe from Perth, Western Australia. World Music Cafe features artists from around the world who are living in Australia. In this show, we meet some musicians with strong cultural links to Southern Africa and Indian Ocean nations. Plus, we meet the team behind the World Music Cafe social enterprise that assists people of new migrant and refugee backgrounds with skills, employment, and social connection as a valued part of Australia's dynamic, culturally diverse community. So, let World Music Cafe feed your soul with stories of creative collaboration and multicultural celebration through food and music. Sekupenda rebita, ilena na yo. Sekupenda rebita, mo Afrika na Angola. Sekupenda rebita, mo Afrika na Angola. Sekupenda rebita. My name is Mahmoud Suleiman from Mozambique, Maputo. I have so many influences of of different style of music. When I started playing music, like back home, I was playing something like we call like a unsi. This kind of music we have been just playing for the weddings, uh, the parties. But later on, because we introduced some saxophones, trumpets, like to make a big band. So we started performing at nightclubs, then I had like a second band, which we have been playing like a traditional songs, which is called Masese from Mozambique. And after Masese, I went to play Kwasa Kwasa with people from Congo. Then later on, I just tried to find my own style, like a, so I love to play a lot of original music, you know? I don't like cover songs. Always like playing like original ones. This part of the world is just paradise for me. I've been touring all around the world. And in Australia too, I've been touring around Australia. So I know so many states here because of music. So, and always was a good feedback. I really appreciate to be part of this. I did enjoy, like a good audience, like a good sound, good food. Oh, amazing night. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, g'day everybody, I'm Olman. Uh, I want to introduce myself um, in our traditional ways. I always say Ngan Williman Balarong. Williman is my mum's mum's clan group. And that's from around the uh, Wheat Belt, Upper Great Southern Region. And Balarong is my mum's area. And on my dad's side of the family, I'm Wajak and Binjab, so from around here and slightly to the south. And we are one of about 300 or so different First Nations peoples. <laughs> Music is 
a way of bringing peoples together. It, it crosses borders, it crosses boundaries, and it's a wonderful thing that, that we need. And all the different types of music, the, the styles that comes from, from Asia, from Africa, from here, even though they are so different and diverse, you can still bring them together and World Music Cafe is a great example of all of these, this diversity coming together. Thank you. Let's meet the World Music Cafe kitchen team, led by our amazing mentor and chef, Nimrod Kisun. Please break the feta all the way on the top. Yeah. Higher. Go higher. Beautiful. So it spreads better. Fantastic. First of all, yeah, I came to Australia. I was 29. And um, I think that I fell in love with the place very quickly. And I called mum and I said, I don't think I'm going to come back. Yeah, once I got my permanent residency, I think the, the journey of of um, understanding the culture and the hospitality industry really started um, in terms of understanding the palette of Aussies. That was a journey. Rather than call it a culture shock, I would call it a culture discovery, investigation. But um, yeah, all in all, I loved the place from the first moment and that was, that was it. It's a love story that's still pumping in me, yeah. My name is Hoda. I came to Australia 2010. Before coming to Australia, I am half business for Ayrton. And also I am doing secretary with doctor and lawyer. And now I am in kitchen. It changed life <laughs> for different, different things. Here we are an Israeli and two Lebanese women cooking together, having laughs. Uh, sometimes singing Yawaz il Falfilu and Farid el Atrash. Sometimes listening to Israeli music and Arabic music and cooking. Hoda is a magnificent pastry maker, which I learned from. I uh, already learned two, two sweets how to make. And I teach them the rest of the, the best of my knowledge, and I think that's, that's amazing. So it's a journey of the heart and journey of knowledge and journey of cultures coming together. And then every few weeks we meet another 100 people that I can touch through their bellies. And um, it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I left Africa um, in 1979. I was nine years old. It was the very first of January that we arrived in Australia. When we came here, it was like the summers were so hot. Yeah, it was a completely different, uh, different life. It was a very big uh, cultural shock. I can't say that I got used to it straight away. It was a difficult experience. After moving to Australia, I, I, I always uh, embraced my identity as a South African and always uh, learnt the repertoire, if you like. South African music is next to my heart because of the fact that I just love the singing and the arrangements and the big harmonies. Yeah, I'm always uh, happy to perform for people and to share the African music and to share the music that we work on because it gets reinforced that people feel joy, they really respond to the rhythmic music and to the fact that it's so different, people are always uh, curious.
shout out to our fellow musicians in the, in the World Music Cafe. The name of the band is called Itongo Leto, and Itongo Leto is our dream. I'm Akwa Nakuonu, also known as Jere. My name is Antonio, I'm living in Kubuletu. Shout out guys, my name is Lish. Uh, Original I'm Luyanda Malkolani from uh, Nyanga, but I stay in Parklands. Hi guys, I am Kanga. Uh, I'm from Cape Town, Philippi. I'm um, Welile Sutupa. Uh, I started to relate to it at, at the year 2008. So as me and we were teachers, so we pushed in schools, teaching schools, different stuff. We, we teach gambuts, we teach Zulu dance, we teach Panzula, we teach marimba, and we play 19 African instruments. The music, Love came from the hood, like where you live, your parents, your sisters, your neighbors, what they listen. Our mission is to share the music of South Africa to, to, to the world. We would love to share our dream with everyone that's traveling all over the world. Woman, you don't have to cry no more If you throw your troubles out the door Spread your wings and fly You'll make a difference You were born to shine Cause you are a woman Hello, my name is Grace Barbe and I am from Seychelles Island in the Indian Ocean. I'm Creole, I, Creole is the, the culture, the people, and it's also the language that we speak. And I sing in the language of Creole. Even though I grew up here in Perth and I have been back quite a few times, um, I've been quite proactive and active in the Seychelles community here in Perth. So I started performing and playing bass and singing in the Seychelles community here in Perth and I suppose that's why I'm so into, you know, into preserving the culture. To take that to a wider audience, the wider Australian audience, I think it's really important. Even though I've created my own style, Afro Creole, which is a blend of different genres, Afrobeat, you know, pop, a bit of reggae. The roots, the foundation is still there and you can hear it in my music and that's really important. Performing this style of music internationally and touring, it's a great opportunity for me to actually introduce my audience about where I come from and this, this is, these are the rhythms that we play, even though you can hear the different influences. And uh, I'm, I'm proud of that, I'm proud of where I come from and it's really important to share that with people. You are a woman naturally and it's authentic and we can create our own kind of genre, our, our own style with the Indian Ocean Island fusion and it's a great opportunity to do that. So love well music, call it what you like, you know, I think it's really important to stay authentic and true to your, to your sound, wherever you come from. World Music Cafe also provides music workshops to share world music skills and connect cultures in the Perth community.
I got into marimba because a band from quite a long time ago um, got a study grant to go over to Zimbabwe and Southern Africa to learn about traditional music of the Shona people and part of that was marimbas because we were playing the marimbas in Australia and so um, we couldn't uh, let go of the experiences that we had in Zimbabwe in terms of how the music and how they played it affected their own people let alone how it affected us and um, then um, I was on a mission because they taught us also how to make the and tune the wood and so I went about buying my wood, spending my money, my allowance on buying the wood. And then of course, um, I'm from South Africa, so I had my relative in Johannesburg. And of course that wood comes from there, from South Africa as well. So I went to all the places to mill the wood, get the right sizes for the base marimba, this and that. And I um, brought the, the wood over to Australia and that was the beginning of the ensemble. But unfortunately, 2007 maybe, that my studio burnt down and I lost all of that wood. And I decided to um, build another ensemble and this time I made it out of Australian wood. Somehow I have the words to be, in, to be able to get them to feel what it is that originally inspired me and to get them to love the sound of the ensemble and get them to love the sound of the different chords and how it goes in context when you're telling a story about music, going from your home chord to the next one, next one. I wanna make it accessible to all people because I think that when you're playing music, it's a holistic experience. Not only your rhythmic skills, your listening skills, your cooperation skills, your chordal skills. I mean, it's just, the list goes on, but the full uh, ensemble is a completely unique experience. Look, I feel humbled because, you know, I've got so much hope and love for living and being in Australia. I know how difficult it was to transition out of various phases of the acceptance of people and so on and so forth. So it was very passionate to my heart. People can come together and people are organized enough and believe in it enough, despite all of the obstacles, that they are driven to bring our community together. And that is what means the most to me is, because I want to live in my community. I don't want to be on the side of it. I want to be part of it. I want to feel responsible for, for contributing and this gives you that opportunity it gives so many people the opportunity and at the same time it, uh, it helps the awareness of different cultures and the acceptance of different cultures so it's really humbling and really moves me and I, I couldn't give more of my support to to this <laughs> social enterprise, meaning that it's a business that's trading for good. We started this as part of the Multicultural Enterprise Development Project. Hello everyone, thanks for coming. Uh, my name is Marzia and it's almost one year that I'm working in World Music Cafe. Well, working in World Music Cafe is wonderful and almost the people whom I'm working with are from different kind of background. I work as a customer service, I work as a front of house, as an MC. So I did many things, so I learned many uh, things and I have many experience now and I'm very happy. And thank you. Uh, my name is Guy. I uh, came here 2014. Well, Mr. Cafe has been great for me, like English is my second language. That, that is some challenges for me, so not as outgoing as I am. <laughs> they have lots of build up my skill. Like before they have like training, they actually bring me a lot because they have not only 
the cafe like not only this event, they actually have a lot of different events. So I can see a lot of different things and also work with them as like uh, the marketing. So like some social medias, uh, things like survey, analysis, or this stuff, yeah. <laughs> also lots of, I face to a lot of uh, different kinds of customer and very diverse. They are from different country, even the musicians, they are from uh, like all over the world. So I met a lot of them and they are so nice to me. So actually it's like I feel a confidence to me, yeah. I came to Australia in 2013. I'm from West Africa. I'm from Ghana. Yeah. When I first came to Australia, I it was like I was looking for a place, sort of like a place to fit in. With World Music Cafe, I feel like I belong to a community. So when you have a community, you feel like you belong somewhere. Like you know, so that's why it's. World Music Cafe has done for me. I think World Music Cafe is such a, an opportunity to, to see the talent we have here, here in Perth, Australia. We've got people who, um, who come from all parts of the world and make Australia, make Perth their home. And the opportunity to bring those individuals together with such talent, passion, and connection to culture, and then present and share that to the rest of us, it's a, it's a magical evening. It's really powerful to bring so many people together from so many different diverse backgrounds and watch them actually, actually melt together and, and, and bring something you know, so beautiful, yeah? It's, it's really powerful. This is another way of communicating across culture and unifying people. You know, it brings people together and uh, gives us the spirit of what it is to be really alive. You see the diversity and the multiculturalism, not just in the musicians, but in the MC. It's there in the food, it's, um, and it's there in the appreciation that you get from the crowd. It's what everyone comes here for, and it's what they get. It's, um, it's a really beautiful scene. Thank you very much. Right? Here. In World Music Cafe. So that's the most important thing. That's the reason. That's the opportunity. We can meet each other. So then we, we create something. Yeah. And as it happened, we started playing. And wow, we never stopped. It's incredible what it can happen, you know, when given the opportunity to mix with other musicians, other cultures, other nationalities. Yes, I've just joined and uh, I found it very rich because I've, I've been learning a lot about different instruments. So it's um, rediscovering my own song and it's, it's great. It's great and sharing this with other people who kind of, you know, also appreciate it. So I think it's a nice sharing experience and very rich. You know, although Perth is not such a big city, yet we would have never met each other if it wasn't for the World Cafe. The performance went fabulous. Be better than I expected. <laughs> yeah.
We all love to live on this planet, we all love to share it. And um, if we can share it in the spirit of harmony as music shows us, everything's going to be alright. Everyone's going to be taken care of. And all of that uh, elusive happiness that we sometimes seek, we actually find the answer. <laughs> Yellow, Rangatanes, and a hand, Malagasy. Yellow, Lucky Lucy, Yellow, Rangatanes, and a hand, Malagasy. 